If you boys are looking to pick up some FIFA 16 coins, head on over to Golda.com and use DRG for a discount. If you're looking to pick up some cheap MSP, PSN codes or cheap games, head on over to G2A.com. All links down below. What's going on boys and welcome to a long awaited Q&A. You've been asking me for a while to do another one. I do enjoy them. But there's been so much kerfuffle around Team of the Season, we've all been doing that. But I'm taking a little break from it today to give you a Q&A. So we've got plenty of questions and we're going to get through as many as we can. Don't forget to smash a like and subscribe if you're new, it really does mean a lot. Let's jump in to question number one. What's your favourite sport other than football? Right, so I do enjoy, I like snooker. I like playing snooker rather than watching it. I used to watch it, but I kind of find it a little bit boring. I've always said is foot golf a sport because I absolutely love playing that. And UFC would be the opposite to snooker. I like watching it. I wouldn't like to actually do it because I'd get the shit kicked out to me. Will you ever do online road to Division 1 or play some online matches and record them? Well, I do do a, a, a sort of road to Division 1. I do spin it to win it. And yes, I will be recording more matches. The thing is, right... Career Mode and, and Spin It To Win It are two of my favourite series to actually record and upload. The problem is, everybody says they want them and then I upload them and nobody bloody watches them. It, that's, it, it's been blowing me mind for so long. I get criticised for doing pack openings and foot drafts, yet it's all any of you bloody watch. When I upload the other stuff, the views are halved. So, seeing from my point of view, if I'm uploading pack openings and there's double the amount of people watching them, well then I'm going to upload more of them. If I get the support to do on career mode and spin it to win it, I'd upload more of that. How does SpongeBob light campfires under water? My mind has just been bloody blown. I have no idea. How many Liverpool games have you been to? Now the unfortunate answer is zero. And the main reason behind it is my fear of flying, so I won't fly over. And of course, if you get to the boat, you really need to be going for a weekend. And with having kids and stuff, it makes it more difficult money-wise. And of course, for leaving home for a weekend, you know, stuff like that. Now, the thing is, everybody th thinks if you haven't been to a game, you can't support your team. I don't think I've missed a Liverpool game in about, well, I'll say years. I literally watch every single game online. Don't miss a game, even pre-seasons, I watch everything. Would you ever start a gaming channel outside of FIFA or incorporate more games when FIFA is quiet? I've tried it, it didn't work, nobody was interested. When I uploaded different games on this channel, I got nothing but abuse, so I can't bloody win. What do you drive? Well, I don't drive, but I did buy Leanne a Ford Focus and we absolutely love it. Who do you think are going to win the Euros and what players you think we should look out for in Euro 2016? To be honest, I've not even looked into the Euros. and I know it's so close, so I should be more into it. I can't wait for it to start now, but I've not really you know, looked into it. I think France are going to do very well. Of course, we're all hoping England do well. Belgium is someone else I'll be looking out for, and a player I think we need to look out for is... I want to say Origi, but you'll all abuse me, but I hope he has a good competition. I don't know whether he's going to start, but if he continues his form into the Euros as he had for Liverpool, I think he could be a player to watch. Also, is it Sane or Sané from Germany? Again, if he gets a chance, I think he could have a very good competition as well. Why do people say your vids are clickbait even when they clearly aren't clickbait? Because people love to jump on the bloody bandwagon. Half of the people leaving clickbait comments have no idea what clickbait is. They're just jumping on it. It's like if somebody started saying big hairy ball bags in the comments. These same people would comment that not knowing why they were commenting about big hairy ball bags. That's the majority of it. And, you know, I don't bother anymore. I, I think every YouTuber now just takes it in the stride and laughs at it. Will we see any collab videos soon? Most likely not. I gave up trying to ask YouTubers to do videos a long time ago. It's not worth the hassle. Favourite card you have used this year on FIFA 16? I haven't got one because honestly I think they all play the bloody same. Shite. Will you do a special video for when you reach 200,000 subs? <laughs> and how are the family? The family's amazing. This channel will not 
reach 200,000 subs, I can guarantee you that. Will you be recording any in real life football vids, for example the Crossbar Challenge, Fuck Off, Six Aside Games? Yes! I've been trying to do this for so long, now it's difficult because uh, the lads I'll be doing it with uh, work during the day and some of them work uh, are doing bar work at night so it's kind of tricky getting everybody at once but we are planning it hopefully this week but I'm not going to make any promises and we're going to record two, three, four videos in the same day so get them all done at once. So yes, the plan is to have them coming soon. Why did you choose to reveal yourself? Mainly because everybody hounded me to do it. A lot of people came in didn't understand the whole concept. I think the only people that really get this channel are the people who have been there from the very beginning. Some people can't grasp the fact the mask is simply to be different. It was never hiding anything, it was just different. A lot of people already knew who I was when I started this channel from the music channels I've done and previous stuff I've done on YouTube in the past. So. It was basically for so much bullshit of people saying, Oh, he's hiding something. No, mate. It was for comedic value to play an old bloody bastard character. And thankfully, a lot of people got it. I think to this day, it does hold the channel back slightly. I think people come on and say, Why is he wearing a mask? But I don't care. I'm committed to what I started with. It got me to where I did get. And we peaked. And that's probably it. But, I will still stick to what made this channel what it was. If you weren't a watermelon, what number would you be? Uh, probably seven, I think. Do you watch any other YouTubers? If yes, who? Now, apologies straight away, I'm going to get his name wrong. Casey Neistat. I'm so sorry if the name is wrong. But, I think the guy is incredible. I absolutely love his video. He's the only YouTuber I've ever waited for a video to be uploaded. Every day I'm waiting. And if there is a couple of days where I'm busy and miss him, I actually sit down and just binge watch whatever I've missed. I think he's incredible. Do you see yourself carrying on doing YouTube in one year's time? This channel, probably not. I'd almost say nearly definitely not. I think this channel's got, a f I can give it about five more months and if things don't drastically change, and I mean drastically, uh, this is coming to an end. Now, in terms of YouTube, if time permitting I can I would love to continue on the vlogging channel and I would love to turn that into something like this channel once was so if you're not sub to that channel that might be where you're going to catch me in a few months time on a regular basis so there's a link to it down below it's a family vlogging channel if you want to go check it out oh Christ why is it every time I scroll up to the last question it's something like this and I've got to read it out on a scale of 1 to Z how good is burnt toast? Why? Why? Why make me finish this video with a question like that? So on a scale of 1 to Z, how good is burnt toast? 4 C. So that is it. That concludes another Q&A. Thank you for all your questions. They really are appreciated because without them, I couldn't make these videos. Thank you so much for your recent support and thank you for your years support in the past. If the channel does come to an end in the next four or five months, I cannot thank you all enough. You have honestly, sounds ridiculous, you have changed my life. You've given me opportunities to do things that I would not have been able to do. I bought Leanne a car, we're getting married next year, which could not have happened without you and it means more than you will ever ever know. Thanks for watching boys, smash a like, subscribe if you're new and I'll talk to you all next time. Cheerio.